Happy Easter, everyone! This was not in honor of Easter, but it is in honor of Easter at this point. Working on the zoo, I added a new enclosure. I added some half enclosures this time on the... Who gave me that idea? It might have been Steve, might have been Drew, I can't remember. Well, thanks to both of you, because you've both been helping out and giving me thoughts and ideas on the zoo. And I made a bunny enclosure. I wanted something whimsical in the zoo, because the zoo's kind of... It's kind of dismal, the, the dystopian part of it. All the animals are fine, but the enclosure, the, the structure of the zoo is very dystopian and very this rundown. So we added a little color in here, really bright here, we have bunnies. And there's a lot of bunnies in here. And they say bunnies multiply, so... I do have more bunnies to put in here, I might put them in here, or they might be popping up around the zoo, I haven't decided where they're going yet. What I did was take the the spring, the spring giveaway, I guess you want to call it, it's a Lego giveaway right now. If you bought a certain dollar amount, you got a little... little rabbit in a little pod with a chick. There's a chick minifigure there in the enclosure. And I thought it was something, I just put this all together. I built the little pod part in here. It's just that little tree stump with some flowers on it. And then just added a bunch of carrots, because bunnies need carrots. And lots of bunnies. They're even escaping the, the pod here as well. Not pod, it's, a, it's an enclosure, but... Added more windows in this. Again, I wanted to make it nice and bright. And people can see it from all the sides. The, the minifigures can see it from all the sides. And I thought it was fun. As you can see inside the enclosure, there are a lot of bunnies in it. There's not much terrain to do in here. Again, just grass, some carrots growing because they do need to eat. And a little room for them to play and some flowers just to make it nice and colorful. On the top edge of the enclosure, there is a bunny sitting there and a little bucket. That's supposed to be a little feed bucket. I was going to include those in all the zoo enclosures, but I don't have enough of those little half buckets. But there is a carrot in there for the bunny that's hanging out on the top of the enclosure right there. Thought that was a nice little fun touch to add as well. And here is a close-up of that tree stump I was talking about. It's got a little water feature at the bottom of it, which is flowing into nothing. But I suppose the bunnies need a little water to drink, so they have some water there as well. This bunny enclosure, as well as all of the other enclosures you've seen, will be for public viewing on the weekend of the 27th and 28th, I believe it is, coming up in a week and a few days from now in Philly at Philly Breakfast. I'll be there with the entire zoo set up. We have really cool zoo. It's got working elevators and some other cool features I've added to it, some lights. I'm excited to show it off to the public, so no more peeks at the zoo until then. You gotta check us out in Philly. If you're in the area, come by, say hi, subscribe to us if you're not subscribed. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which is the third Thursday of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have you built today? What? I love how you tell me. I don't know. It's just something I do. Leave me alone. <laughs>